How'd you go? It's easier if you attack a problem logically using simple steps. And it's good to practice using these steps on a problem that's not yours. You guys already know that if your self-talk is negative and unhelpful, you won't feel good about yourself and you'll make poorer decisions. I don't need to tell you that changing your thoughts to positive, helpful ones will make you feel better and really change your interaction with other people. I mean, I felt like an idiot when I locked my keys in the car, but telling myself how stupid I was wasn't going to help solve the problem. And you telling yourself that, ah, oh, I'm useless or this is too hard, might stop you from even trying to solve the problem. And problems left alone can only get bigger and harder. You have tools now, those five simple steps to problem solving. And if you tell yourself, I'll just stay calm and I can do this, you might just surprise yourself. Positive self-talk and steps to solving problems, they're all news you can use. But you have to be realistic, hey? Everyone fronts up problems that you just can't solve. Maybe something gets broken, maybe an opportunity passes you by, or maybe someone you love dies. Some things you just can't change. But you can change the way you think about a situation to help yourself cope better. And remember, when it does get too much, there's always someone you can turn to. Talk to someone you can trust. Or if you're worried about being embarrassed or people knowing your problems, remember there are confidential telephone and internet helplines. Sometimes just sharing a problem can make you feel a little bit better. So if you have a problem, first get your head right. Then work through it with the five simple steps and if it's too hard, talk to someone. Remember, everyone has problems. It's how you deal with them that counts.